AIA New York is proud to continue our fifth year of partnership with NYSERDA on the Buildings of Excellence program, which plays a critical role in advancing sustainable design across our state. Once again, we are joined by innovative industry leaders who are transforming how we design and experience New York's built environment and have convened another cohort of visionaries that are transforming multifamily buildings and demonstrating how the latest technologies can improve the quality of life for residents while supporting the transition to a clean energy economy. The awarded projects today will help to lead the way to a zero emissions future, thanks to the commitment of every person both in this room and those joining us virtually today. Public-private partnerships are truly the path forward for not only the clean energy progress that we know is possible here in New York, but really how to have a, what I would say is a force multiplier on the work that we are doing together. But also when one looks at this competition alone, this competition has unlocked $3.5 billion, billion dollars in private investments. And that means that this is a great example of that impact um, together. So this uh, competition was launched in 2019. It provides financial awards and recognition for the design, construction, and operation of high performance, clean, and resilient buildings that offer predictable revenue and costs. So over those years, we have awarded a total of 75 state-of-the-art new construction and gut renovation projects through the competition. And as a result, with every round, not only do we increase the cohort of those projects, but we see the bar being raised um, every year. And that is a great example of how we can be growing this industry together and the state of the art um, with respect to technology, innovation, and planning. We've made sustainability and resiliency a top priority at HGR, and we've done that through an incredible partnership uh, with NYSERDA to make energy, and energy efficiency in our buildings a top priority. We uh, started in the early 2023 with converting all of our new construction uh, buildings that we financed to all electric and followed shortly two years after uh, with that same mission applied to all of the preservation work that we are doing. Our partners, and we are lucky in New York State to have an enormous number of partners who are uh, nonprofits and for-profits building affordable housing, and they are implementing sustainable features in nearly everything that we finance. Uh, the BOE also deepens our research capacity. That Beacon Project also received an early design support award. That funding really enabled us to explore what I think is a very important issue, which is the high operational cost of electricity in full, fully electrified buildings. Uh, for that project, we tested uh, 10 strategies ranging from passive house to geothermal, solar, time of use rates, and building management systems, analyzing cost, carbon, and energy outcomes. Um, the results of that study now uh, inform a rule of thumb guidance that can be scaled, shared, and refined across the city and state. So BOE has really impacted individual building uh, performance and, and research, but it's also, I think, the bigger impact is on the industry as a whole. Um, it just doesn't help us build individual better buildings, it helps build our collective knowledge. Projects awarded through the Buildings of Excellence competition have proved that clean, resilient, and net zero emission buildings are not only possible, but they are beautiful, they are comfortable, and cost competitive at all scales, small to large. The projects have provided desperately needed high quality living environments across the entire state of New York that have helped combat the housing crisis that we face. These designs today, and the ones that have come uh, before in the Buildings of Excellence Challenge, they really drive us towards the goal of business as usual. These buildings must become the standard, as our minimum standard, ultimately delivering better living conditions across all communities everywhere. Continued collaboration with industry stakeholders such as NYSERDA and HCR and other agencies, our mission amplifying clean, resilient buildings of excellence serving all communities will continue to create lasting and positive effects. So the first awardee is 1707 Hurdle Avenue, located in East Aurora in Western New York, which is receiving a Buildings of Excellence Award for $1 million. Strategically located near key Buffalo destinations, this new construction, six-story, 52 market rate units, modern, um, modern residential development is designed to benefit both residents as well as the community at large. Here to accept the awards are the developer, 
Forward Development, LLC, represented by Jacob Stiller and the designer, Line 42 Architecture, PLLC, represented by Joshua Best. Our next awardee is 475 State Street, located in Brooklyn, which is receiving a Buildings of Excellence Award of $700,000. Expected to be the world's tallest FIAS core certified project located on the Alloy Block's western edge. And here to accept the awards are the developer, Alloy Development, represented by Jeffrey Sullivan, and accepting on behalf of the design team of Thornton Tomasetti and Alloy Architecture LLP, Prudence Ferreira. The next winning project is 280 East 161st Street, West Tower. Located in New York State, in a New York State designated disadvantaged community in the Bronx, which is receiving a $700,000 award. The West Tower Supportive Housing 19-story new construction project will provide 266 units of housing and more than 7,000 square foot health hub to the broader South Bronx community. And here to accept the awards are the developer, Gilbane Development Company, and Institute for Community Living, represented by Yarajan Robinson, and the designer, Alfgang Architects, represented by Pablo Choquin. Our next awardee is 77 William Street, located in, New York, in a New York State designated disadvantaged community in Newburgh in the Middle Hudson Valley, which is receiving a Buildings of Excellence Award for $680,078. This new construction 46 unit five story building will meet the needs of the historically underserved populations in the Newburgh community. Here to accept the awards are the developer, Bronx Pro Group and Safe Harbors of the Hudson, represented by Lisa Silverstone and the designer, Curtis and Ginsburg Architects, represented by Brian Tews. Our next awardee is Building 10 Bio-Based Passive House located in the Bronx which is receiving a Buildings of Excellence Award for $700,000. This 48 affordable unit project marks the start of Amalgamated Housing Cooperative's bold effort to renew the historic campus to serve the next generation. Here to accept the awards are the developer, Amalgamated Housing Corporation, represented by Ed Yaker, and the designer, ZH Architects, represented by Marianne Hyde. The next awardee is Chester Agricultural Center Farm Worker Housing, located in a New York State designated disadvantaged community in Chester in the Mid-Hudson Valley, which is receiving a Buildings of Excellence Award of $500,000. Here to accept the awards are developer Chester Agricultural Center Incorporated, represented by Sarah Katz, and the designer WXY Architecture and Urban Design, represented by Claire Weiss. Our next awardee is Kasena House, located within a New York State designated disadvantaged community in Flushing, Queens, which is receiving a Buildings of Excellence Award of $1 million. Here to accept the awards are the developer, Self-Help Realty Group, represented by Susan Wright, and the designer, Curtis and Ginsburg Architects, represented by Sean Flynn. Our next awardee is Powerhouse Apartments, located in a New York State designated disadvantaged community in the Bronx, which is receiving a Buildings of Excellence Award of $1 million. Designed to FIAS core certification standards, this 80 affordable uh, unit multi-generational new construction housing complex features innovative design strategies that will conserve and generate energy throughout its entire life cycle, utilizing ground source heat pumps and on-site solar. It will also provide residents with access to on-site resources. Here to accept the award on the awards on behalf of the development team, Lemel and Wolf Development Company LLC, Help Development Corp, and True Development New York LLC, represented by Anabelka Cordova, and the design team, Ettinger Engineers Associates, represented by Ed Ettinger. The final awardee is Seneca West 110th Street, located within a New York State designated disadvantaged community in Harlem. It will be receiving a Buildings of Excellence Award of $700,000. This 22-story, 108 affordable unit new construction housing development, located on the site of former Lincoln Correctional Facility, will be the tallest 100% affordable home ownership project meeting FIAS core certification in New York City. Here to accept those awards 
On behalf of the development team, Infinite Horizons LLC, L and M Development Partners LLC, Urbane Development Group Limited, and Lamore Development Group LLC is Randall Powell, and the designer, Curtis and Ginsburg Architects, represented by Van Sow. And that brings us to the end of our ceremony. Congratulations to all the winners today. It is clear that you and your teams have invested extraordinary thought and resources to create designs that push the boundaries of what is possible for clean and resilient buildings that move the state closer to a clean energy future.